The long-awaited ink pad color 2 by Pocketbook has landed. IPX8 waterproof, smart light, built-in speaker, and a Kaleido 3... Wait. Wait, hold on. Kaleido Plus? Th oh. Well, okay, a Kaleido 2 screen. Now, why did they go with a Kaleido 2 screen? I have no idea. Lots of manufacturers are already on their second or third release of Kaleido 3, but Pocketbook felt the need to put a Kaleido Plus screen on it. Either way, we will check it out in the full review, but for now, it has 4,096 colors. This thing has a quad-core CPU, dual-band Wi-Fi, and, of course, it does have text-to-speech and other audio capabilities to make use of that speaker. Off the record, on the record, I have no idea why they're going with Kaleido 2. It's kind of all played out and a lot of manufacturers either don't do it or have abandoned it altogether. So much like in tune with their latest releases, they've gone with this kind of recyclable paper mache box and I much appreciate that because it is recyclable and it does look like it's just been pressed and stamped out. It's not a very hard cardstock, but the bottom tray is hard. This one as well is just kind of almost like printer paper. Now the box is very nicely laid out and it is curved on the side. Let us use this at the very end because I always like to leave that to the very end. You have a USB-C and a ton of documentation. S companies like Pocketbook and Sony, they love giving you documentation. They absolutely love it. This warranty guide is huge. This quick start guide is huge. And you might be asking why, and that's because they have so many different languages. This one has two, ro there must be 40 languages here. Vietnamese, I almost never see Vietnamese on things outside of MeBook because MeBook is very kind of locked into Vietnam. You have some do not throw away, you have some regulatory information, and your life with and without a case. I always kind of like this. This this has been around for as long as we can remember inside pocketbook devices. Now for the unit itself, it is nicely put away in this plastic wax paper composite. It is not... Oh, I can leave that on actually. It slides out like that. Perfect. This is a new body. It is not sharing the body with anything else, and we will see by opening this which is very hard to open there we go a lot of their devices all the way from the viva and the ink pad 4 have had these kind of plates that come off and underneath you see the actual model number pb 743 c is this particular one this is designed in switzerland made in china you have these nice long lines here that leave a little bit of fingerprints but not too much you have speaker on the side it might be a single speaker with dual output or it could be a stereo speaker it's not opposing it's just in the same kind of general vicinity but it could be dual we do have a USB-C with a status indicator light on the bottom. Now you might be wondering where's the other buttons? They're actually on the side here because you do have physical page turn buttons on this unit. You have page back, page forward, you have home, and you do have the power button. This is a 7.8 inch and it is a sunken screen, but because they don't have a Wacom layer or a glass layer or a screen protector layer on top, it ends up looking very close to the surface and very crisp and concise. You don't really have to worry about a lot of things being in the way of your viewing experience. For now, everyone, this is everything that comes in the box with the brand new Pocketbook Ink Pad Color 2. We have been waiting for this for quite some time. There have been many delays in the industry, but we're finally glad Pocketbook has sent us this unit and thank you to Pocketbook for sending us this sample.